Follow my key profession on the key possession. I'm OD aggressive when I run the rock. See me flexing in the winning section. If they press a bombing on them off the top, slump a hater, leave them in the field. Or I'm in the kitchen whipping up a dot. Took it from the bottom to the top. Certified man and money shot. Toss a bullet, hit you in the chest, and send a burn across your face from mind to slot. Please don't test them, I bring heat and brush it. Have my hit or brush, you move you off the spot. Slump a hater, leave them in the field. Or I'm in the kitchen whipping up a dot. Took it from the bottom to the top. Certified man and money shot. If you guys are looking for fast, cheap, reliable coins for your college football 25 team, check out my coin sponsors at MMOXP and use discount code MONEYSHOT for 5% off your order. Link in the description below. The champ is here! Welcome back, Money Team. This is Mad Money Shot. Sniffing out the college cheese as always. In today's video, we just finished our Alabama offensive ebook. So guess what team I'm using in Road to College Football Playoffs? That's right, Alabama. Some of you might have guessed it because you know the only way that you can use Alabama's offensive and defensive playbooks is by using Alabama themselves. But for the people that don't know that, I'm going to leave a bunch of ignorant comments in my comment section questioning why I'm using Alabama, one of the best teams in the game. I'll leave a link in the description as well as on screen at the end of the video of me using this exact same defense with BYU and spoiler alert the results are the exact same but before I do as always if you guys want to see more videos like this please make sure to be a subscriber hit the like button let me know in the comment section and if you need more help or more money plays like I said I just put out Alabama's brand spanking new offensive ebook and I already have their defensive ebook out and you can download these or any of my ebooks instantly simply by clicking links in the description or the top pin comment I also don't get to control what teams I play against but I'm in the Heisman division so to me anybody that I play in this division is probably good as this is the highest ranked tier possible to play Play in. Now the defense I'm going to show you guys today is once again the big nickel over G. Like I said, I showed this with BYU. I showed it with Penn State early in the year. It's still one of the best defenses in the game. But there's a new play that I'm going to show you guys out of this as well as a blitz that is really one of the better blitzes to use in the entire game. But I didn't start this game out with this defense as I really haven't used Alabama's playbook pretty much all year and I wanted to see what was in it. And the second I see that they had the nickel 3-3 mint, I decided to try to use that defense first as it is my favorite and it's been one of the defenses I've been running pretty much the entire year. And I'm pretty much going to use the cover three Buzz Mabel play that I've been using for the last couple of weeks since they put it into the game. But this defense has a couple of issues. As you can see right here, we get no pressure on the first place since we only have three down linemen rushing. And you can see he just takes his time sitting in the pocket before he picks this defense apart. I also don't really get the best coverage when it comes to run defense here. As you can see, my run fits are to spread the defensive line so I can have outside containment. And because of that, he runs inside a lot and has a lot of success there as well. Before he hits me with a drag on the next play to get to midfield and you can see also that the checkdowns are pretty wide open all the time as well as he takes the running back underneath for another big play before pounding the rock on the next two plays now i still believe in this defense and i still run it very well as you can see on the next play we get him to a fourth and one that he decides to go for essentially coming out in a goal line package but when he sees me crowding the box to stop the qb sneak he decides to switch up to a toss play instead and gets a much bigger gain as everybody's inside and there's nobody outside to stop him as he almost takes to the house before running the ball again on the next play and punching it in this time Damn it! but I'm glad it worked out this way because now you're gonna get to see how much of an improvement the next defense is that I run now like I said this is the first game that I used Alabama so the offense I'm gonna show you guys is brand new even to me as I think the gun trips TE formation has one of the best plays in the entire game out of the PA shot wheel so if you guys want to see a one play touchdown video against every single defense in the game using this offense let me know in the comment section and hit the like button but the first drive doesn't go very well as we run the first play to get a hard five yards before we use the PA wheel shot play and the receiver that I wanted to gets wide open Crap. Only my quarterback throws the ball out of reach before throwing the next pass out of bounds. What? So I decided to go for it on fourth and five, and I just hesitated. <laughs> And since I got walk like a dog on the last drive, I decided to switch up to a defense that's going to give me a little bit more pressure out of the 425 over G. As this has been one of my favorite defenses to use since Madden of last year, and it still works out very good in that game as well. And since I want to get more pressure, we're going to use the SS Blitz 3. Just make sure you put your fastest defensive back in this blitzing safety spot here. Now, right off the bat, there's already a couple of things that make this defense better. Number one, you got four rushing down linemen, which means that even if I don't send the cornerback like I am here, we're going to get much better pressure than a three rushing lineman. Look. 
look. We also want to make sure we pinch the defensive line, which is deep pad to the left and down. And you can see how this will close up any inside run lanes, making my run defense much better as well. The last step is going to be to bring this user down over the center so that I can essentially get this cornerback in free. And you can see on the very first play, the run play is absolutely smoked as he tries to run around it and there's just nowhere to go. On the next play, he tries to run outside again. You can see how the blitzing cornerback shuts that down as we drop for another loss before he tries to pass on third and long. And I guess he doesn't have this cover three match figured out gotcha, bitch. as he throws an interception and we're going the other way on the first drive he dog walked me all the way down the field and on the second drive when i switched defenses all he did was go backwards and throw a pick six and the next drive starts off the same way as well as he barely gets a yard on the next play before trying to pass on second and nine and he did slap protection to pick up that cornerback blitz but you can see how that just lets the defensive end loop around to get him free as we knock it back to third and 19 before i'm guessing that he might have thought that he could catch me in a pass commit on the next play as he tries to run again surprise motherfucker and now he's pushed back to a fourth and 24 as my opponent has only gone backwards since I've switched to this defense. But there is a slight issue when it comes to the matching principles of the older style cover 3 matches compared to the new style cover 3 match. As this defense doesn't have enough hook curls to match all the receivers on the field, and this linebacker has to let this guy go up the seam to match the running back underneath, which forces the safety who's all the way on the other side of the field to try to come over and make a play. Houston, we have a problem. But I'll show you a defense that can fix this issue on the very next drive. God damn it! With less than a minute to go, we finally get a good pass to that wheel route on the PA wheel shot, and we almost take it to the house with 17-year-old phenom Ryan Williams before we punch it on the ground with a run play to the outside to tie the game before half. But not before switching defenses to the cover three buzz. As you can see, this play here has two hook zones, and these hook zones man match, so this will do a better job against a play like this. As we're gonna set up the defense the exact same way by pinching the defensive line and bringing somebody over the center. And on this play, I choose the seam flat because all the receivers are on the right side of the field, and I don't wanna mess with either one of these hook curls. And since I have four down linemen rushing, the pass rush is naturally gonna be better than the three down linemen version. In the second half, it's the Ryan Williams show as we go to him on three straight plays, most of which are RPOs, before we try to go over the top once again on this wheel route. And the only thing covering this route is the sideline as we have to make a tough toe tap grab to stay in bounds once again. From here though, we manage to get one more first down as we throw it to the run back in the flat and get a good animation to get the first. Before we try to go back to that RPO and now my opponent's playing cover two hard flats. So I try to go over the top to that wheel route once again only to get another bad throwing animation before I get absolutely bullshit to trying to throw it to the running back at the first down marker. I cannot see, I'm legally blind. And we decide just to kick a field goal to take the lead. Back on defense, we add the SS Blitz 3 to our audible plays so that we always have that play in our arsenal. As we're now going to switch back and forth between the cover 3 buzz match and the SS Blitz 3 depending on when we want to send the blitz. And he starts to drive by running the ball, but we're doing a much better job now that we have four pinched defensive down linemen as he only gets five on the first play before trying to take it outside and getting stuffed for a loss. But that's when he decides to hit me with a turbo adjustment and snap the ball before our defense is ready. As I recently said in the video how this is an overpowered adjustment that the offense can make to make the defense worse. And now it appears that my opponent is chewing clock as it looks like he plans on trying to score with no time left, but he's not going to be able to do that on the ground as this run defense is shutting him down so much that he switches over to an empty backfield look for the majority of the rest of the drive as we almost get a sack on the very next play but he's a very good passer as he still methodically dink and dunks his way down the field before he gets inside the red zone and goes back to running the ball and that's to the point where i decide i have to start taking some chances as i really can't let him score and give me the ball back with no time so we send the blitz for the first time in a very long time while also hard flatting underneath to try to get him to hold the ball a little bit longer since he's really only trying to extend the drive with short throws and on the very next play you can see he didn't slide protection at all pick it up pick it up pick it up and we're going the other way with a fumble six as our defense has scored as many points as his offense has with 14 apiece. But this is the Heisman tier, which means pretty much every game is a sweaty game and my opponent is not ready to give up as he sticks around long enough for me to get one more sack before checking down to the running back and calling a timeout with one second left down two possessions and then letting the clock run all the way down to eight seconds before he hikes the ball to let me get my fifth and final sack to end the game. So that's, that's the video. If you guys want to see more tips about this particular defense when I used a smaller school in BYU, I'll have that popping up on screen. So just click the links and until next time, thanks for watching, man. My shit out. Need more help or just want to show your support then head over to my patreon and join my team where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my vids and more link in the description below